The singer had acknowledged problems with alcohol and last week his ex fiance issued a cease and desist letter against him. Buddy, here's a little video of me. It's rude to put hats on the table. Sorry. Is it your hat? Yeah. Children. Shocked fans have gathered outside a hotel in Buenos Aires where former One Direction star Liam Payne has died at the age of 31. Así que necesitamos que venga, que venga alguien. Está en una habitación que que tiene balcón y bueno, estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo. I was worried how far my rock bottom was going to be. Where's rock bottom for me? And you would never have seen it. I'm very good at hiding it. No one would have ever seen it. Part of the reason One Direction was made was because of Simon's promise to me that in two years. I'll make this work for you. Wow. Unfortunately, One Direction member Liam Payne passed away this week, and he had been struggling for a long time, but it appeared that he never got the help that he so desperately needed. Liam was staying in a hotel in Argentina where he fell off the third floor balcony, 45 feet, and passed away almost instantly. Reports have surfaced that the star was acting erratically and that he was most likely drinking and taking substances. Now, the hotel staff actually called 911 before he fell citing that they had a guest that was out of control, who was trashing his room and disturbing guests, and they also said they were worried for his own safety. Unfortunately, the police didn't get there fast enough, as when they arrived, he had already fallen and passed away. Now, the public prosecutor said lack of defensive injuries on Liam's hands indicated he did not adopt a reflective posture to protect himself from the fall, meaning that he could have fallen into a state of semi or total unconsciousness. Now, this was most likely due to him being under the influence. Buenos Aires police also said they found Liam's hotel room in complete disarray. They saw various items broken and recovered packs of energy supplements and other over-the-counter medications found among his belongings. Forensics teams also reported authorities recovered a whiskey bottle, lighter, and cell phone from the internal courtyard where Liam was found. A statement from Argentine authorities suggested that Liam was going through some kind of substance episode. While extremely upsetting, Liam had been open about his mental health and addiction struggles. In July 2023, he posted a YouTube video telling fans that he was in a rehab facility for 100 days. I just needed to take a little bit of time out for myself actually, because I became somebody I didn't really recognize anymore. I'm sure you guys didn't either, he said. I was in bad shape up until that point, and I was really happy more than anything when I arrived to kind of put a stopper on life and work he said. Now, at the time he filmed the video, Liam said he had stopped drinking and had been sober for nearly six months. It's good to be in this position, he said. I definitely don't need those things anymore. The party's over. Now, unfortunately, with what we know now, though, he had relapsed. While speaking to Men's Health Australia in 2019, Liam opened up about the lonely aspects of fame and said that he began drinking to help process his feelings. Now that year, he also revealed that he had gotten sober for a year and that therapy had helped him have a healthier relationship with alcohol. Then in 2021, while appearing on an episode of the Diary of a CEO podcast, the singer also recalled the heavy drinking he would do while stuck in his hotel room during tours. When we were in the band, the best way to secure Cure us because of how big it got was to just lock us in our rooms. And of course, what's in the room? Mini bar. So at a certain point, I thought, well, I'm going to have a party for one, and that just seemed to carry on for many years in my life, he said. Now, he drank to help cope with his fame, but he also suffered from anxiety and depression. In an interview, he once said, I developed a bit of agoraphobia. I would never leave the house. And I do sometimes suffer with it a bit in the sense that like, I'll get days where I just don't want to leave my house, even if that's just going to the shop, he said. In another interview, he talked about struggling with life, saying, there's some stuff that I have definitely never, never spoken about. It was really, really severe, and it was a problem. Now, with all this information, in regards to his passing, it also has people questioning if it was really an accident or if something else was at play. He said he did have some support though, that his former bandmates were always there for him. At the time in 2021, he said he was getting support from his bandmates. I had a lovely phone call from Harry the other day. He was checking in on me. It's almost as if some people got a sixth sense about when you're going through something and want to check in. He added, he's very much like that. He's a lovely, lovely boy. I love him to pieces. 
visits. Now this year, he even attended one of Louis Tomlinson's concerts and Niall Horns. He always supported his former bandmates and stayed in touch with them. Now what's so heartbreaking is that he attended Niall's concert just a couple weeks ago on October 2nd. He posted photos of the two of them on Snapchat with the caption, Reunited. Now Liam even met fans and everyone was excited that he was there. But there was more trouble though as Liam's ex fiance Maya Henry, had spoken out against the star and how he mistreated her during their relationship. She called their relationship toxic, said that Liam was manipulative, and he would threaten to pass away and then blame her. She said that she and her family offered to get him help in a rehab facility, which he ignored. She also stated that she sent him a cease and desist letter after he allegedly wouldn't stop contacting her, repeatedly coming up with new phone numbers and iCloud accounts. Now, In February, Maya announced her fictional book, Looking Forward, inspired by journal entries she wrote while dating Liam. Now, Back in February, she alleged that Liam called her mom at the time and said, I'm not going to be around much longer. Maya also alleged one of Liam's friends also called her, warning her to not release the book for the sake of his mental health. It appeared as though he was manipulating her again to get what he wanted. But she released the book in May, and it has some pretty shocking revelations about their relationship, illustrating Liam's anger issues and how he and his team put her through horrific situations hidden from the public. Now that's not all though, as Maya claimed that Liam contacted his fans via Snapchat and other social media platforms. She added that Liam even admitted to taking advantage of One Direction fans because they are loyal to him. Then fans came forward sharing their own experiences with him. One fan posted on Twitter, It's only right that I share some evidence that the girls are finally speaking out about this Liam situation. I have screenshots dating back to 2017 to June of this year. What he has done to many of us fans over the years is absolutely disgusting. We deserve better. Now there are other screenshots that fans have posted and it's honestly just so messed up what he was doing. Now with all this being exposed, everyone on social media was hating on him and calling him out for his disgusting behavior, which I'm sure got to his head and led to him drinking and using substances. Now, a lot of so-called fans are blaming Maya for Liam's passing, saying she is to blame and if she didn't speak up, none of this would have happened. But it's not Maya's fault. She's a victim who told her side of the story, and Liam was responsible for his own actions, no one else was. Regardless, his passing sent shockwaves all around the world. Fans have spoken up about their grieving, and a memorial was set up outside of the hotel he was staying at. There's even going to be a meetup on Sunday for fans in London to remember the star. Thursday morning, his family put out a statement regarding his passing, saying, We are heartbroken. Liam will forever live in our hearts and we'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. We are supporting each other the best way we can as a family and ask for privacy and space at this awful time. Liam's uncle, Roger Harris, also spoke to Mail Online and said, We are all just deeply saddened and trying to come to terms with it. I just hope everybody gives them some privacy, really, and allows them to come to terms with it. That's all I can say. Then, Thursday afternoon, former One Direction members all made individual posts online to honor Liam. Now, they actually also posted on their joint Instagram account for the first time in years. Their statement read, We're completely devastated by the news of Liam's passing. In time and when everyone is able to, there will be more to say. But for now, we'll take some time to grieve and process the loss of our brother, who we love dearly. The memories we shared with him will be treasured forever. For now, our thoughts are with his family, his friends, and the fans who loved him alongside us. We will miss him terribly. We love you, Liam, Louis, Zane, Niall, and Harry. Now, honestly, when I saw this post, it really hit me that Liam passed away, and it sunk in for a lot of other fans too, which is just so sad. We have Liam's friends, families, and fans in our prayers as we learn more about his tragic passing. Liam Payne's recent passing has reignited conspiracy theories linking him to Puff Daddy, especially after a resurfaced video from 2017. Liam once claimed he was left scared after an encounter with the hip hop mogul and Jay Z in a video that's resurfacing in light of the singer's shocking passing. Payne made the comments 
back in a 2017 appearance on The Graham Norton Show, where he recalled meeting Puffy at a party and how the rapper lingered in their handshake for an uncomfortable amount of time. Liam said, and I quote, I went over to speak to him and Jay-Z, and as I shook his hand, he just chuckled. He had the most evil laugh I've ever heard. So I'm a little bit fearful of that man. Now, Liam was only 24 at the time. Liam said that Puffy held his hand for just, it was just a very uncomfortable amount of time. In the longest handshake ever, leaving him wondering, when is this going to end? Now that video sparked wild conspiracy theories recently, in the wake of obviously Liam's passing and the mounting allegations against Puffy, who was awaiting trial on multiple unspeakable charges in cases that have rocked the music industry. Fans began speculating online that Liam's sudden and mysterious passing might be connected to the music mogul. Some users on social media, particularly the app formerly known as Twitter, drew parallels between Liam's comments and his untimely leaving, suggesting Liam Payne talks about Puffy. Everyone tries to stop him, and now he passes mysteriously? Connect the dots. There's no such thing as an accident in the music industry. Liam's fall was a warning to others. Somebody added, they had like a whole thread going. They mentioned that too many stars pass away under suspicious circumstances. Liam's fall is just another in a long line of unexplained ones. They also added that they're suspicious of any passing with anybody who knew Puffy. They included the hashtag wake up and added that any interviewer talking about Puffy right now is so scared. So this old clip went viral. I think there was like over 131,000 views on it. Like, there was a lot of eyeballs. Somebody else added in in commentary saying that Liam was so put off considerably when he met Puffy. And well, once again, Liam is sadly no longer with us and they don't think that's a coincidence, but they were just putting that out there. Yet another user shared a clip saying, Liam talking about Puffy? Now they've shut him down. And somebody else even said like, isn't it funny how this video was circulating last week online and now he's no longer with us? Now, somebody else suggested without providing evidence of their claims that maybe Liam would have been asked as a witness to the upcoming trials. Which by the way, five new federal civil lawsuits have been filed against Puff Daddy over the last weekend, bringing forth a fresh new wave of accusations against the producer dating between the year 2000 to 2022. Among the plaintiffs, two are men, three are women, and all of these alleged incidents reportedly occurred at parties that were hosted by the mogul. Liam's interview wasn't the only time he mentioned this unsettling encounter, by the way. In a different 2017 interview with KISS FM's Kyle and Jackie O, he again spoke about his run-in with Puffy at a celebrity-packed event that also included Jay-Z and Leonardo DiCaprio. He described it as the most daunting celebrity experience, reiterating the strange handshake and the unsettling chuckle. He also admitted that he had approached Puffy, believing he would be the safest out of the trio, which, what does that mean? And in retrospect, he realized he missed the mark. Obviously, this has all resurfaced following the news of Liam's untimely passing away in Argentina after he fell from a third floor balcony at his hotel and suffered a fractured skull, amongst other injuries. Liam, who quickly rose to stardom as a member of popular British boy band One Direction and grappled with intense global fame while still in his youth, sent shockwaves across the world as investigators continued their investigation. As fans and media descended upon the Casasur Hotel in the trendy Palermo neighborhood of Argentina's capital, the forensics unit worked inside, collecting evidence. The local police said they found Liam's hotel room in complete disarray with packets of a central nervous system depressant, as well as energy supplements and other over-the-counter items all around the room and various items broken. They added that there was a broken bottle, there was a lighter, there was a cell phone that were retrieved from the internal hotel courtyard where Liam's body was sadly found. Police said they had rushed the hotel Wednesday in response to an emergency call just after 5 p.m. local time that had warned of an aggressive man who could be under the influence of some some sort of harmful substance. A hotel manager could be heard on a 911 call recording that was obtained by the Associated Press saying the hotel had a guest who was overwhelmed, he was destroying the entire room, and well, we need you to send someone, please. The manager's voice becomes more anxious as the call goes on, noting the room has a balcony. A photo provided by the police from inside Liam's hotel room really did show all the smashed upness and the debris and just how sad things were. You could see the TV was situated at an angle. There was a very large break visible in the middle of the screen. One Direction was famously assembled by British producer Simon Cowell after he saw Liam and four other talented young men, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, Louis Tomlinson, and Niall Horan, audition for the UK version of The X Factor. Individually, they weren't good enough, but Simon thought together they were a sensation 
Station. Called 1D by their fans, the Directioners, they became a global phenomenon as the first group to have its first four albums debut at number one on the Billboard 200, on the Billboard charts. Their massive fan base, once again, Directioners, propelled the pop group to more than 50 million records sold before the members parted ways to pursue solo careers. They were known for songs like What Makes You Beautiful, Best Song Ever, A Story of My Life. And Liam has previously spoken out about the mental weight of all that fame. He said, I don't think I struggle in the sense of what you would naturally think of when I'm walking down the street with every person stopping me. He mentioned that, you know, it happens sometimes, but it's mainly mentally where you struggle with it. It's the getting ready, always knowing that you will be photographed. Zayn Malik was the first to depart the band though in 2015, and everybody else followed suit. Liam released his first solo album in 2019, titled LP1, and last year he did announce plans for a new album and tour that were later postponed after he suffered from a kidney infection. In recent years, Liam has acknowledged struggling with addictions, saying in a YouTube video that was posted in July of last year that he had been sober for six months after receiving treatment. English singer Rebecca Ferguson, who reached the final of the British show The X Factor, same year that One Direction was competing, has called out the exploitation and profiteering of young stars and the negative impacts of fame in tribute to Liam. She mentioned that they both met at Euston Station in London and shared the taxi together to the audition. They were young, they were innocent, they were unaffected by fame. Uh, this was all a statement that she wrote on Twitter. She said, I can't help but think of that boy who was hopeful and looking forward to his bright future ahead. If he hadn't jumped on that train and jumped in that taxi, she says, I believe he would be alive today. Now, Liam was really young when he first auditioned for X Factor, and he had to return a couple years later. It was 2010, then he was like a good age. He returned for a second audition, and that's how we got One Direction. In terms of reality TV, Fremantle UK, the production company that oversees a lot of shows, they did mention that they postponed auditions for after the passing away, saying their thoughts are with Liam's friends, family, and all who loved him. Now, going back to Ferguson, she has spoken out for years about the exploitation and profiteering of young stars and how a lot of them are still living with the aftermath and the PTSD. She concluded by saying, rest in peace, Liam. I hope you find peace on the other side and love to your mom and family. When Liam was talking about the exploitation, he mentioned back in 2021 on the Diary of a CEO podcast that him and his band members were often locked in their rooms due to their popularity, which led him to start to enjoy drinking and having parties for one, and that carried on for many years as part of his life. In another interview in 2019 with British broadcaster Sky News, he said he felt quite lucky to still be here, which was something he had never shared at that point. His family has released a statement saying they are heartbroken by his passing. Liam will live forever in their hearts. They'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. They were supporting each other best they could. They were asking for privacy and space, which they absolutely deserve. More tributes have been rolling in. Paris Hilton said it was so upsetting to hear the news of the passing. She sent her love and condolences to his family and loved ones. Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood remembered working with Liam on a performance on The X Factor. Another popular boy band, Backstreet Boys, mentioned that words could not express the emotions they were feeling, and they sent their love to Liam's family, friends, and the Directioners. One Direction member Liam Payne passed away yesterday after falling 45 feet off a balcony at a hotel in Argentina. It's been reported that this was an accident, as the star was reportedly acting erratically earlier in the day. Liam was staying in a hotel in Buenos Aires when he fell off the third floor balcony and passed away. Authorities say he passed instantly from multiple injuries, including a fractured skull. Witnesses at the hotel say that Liam was acting strange before the incident and that he wasn't his normal self. It's said that he appeared to be under the influence of something and wasn't cooperating with the hotel employees. It's said that he was acting out of control in the lobby, so workers had to pick him up and bring him back to his room. Now, due to his alarming behavior, an employee at the hotel called 911 to ask for assistance with the star as they needed help. When the manager called 911, they said, We have a guest who is overwhelmed. He breaks things up. He is tearing the whole room apart. The manager said that they needed someone to be sent to us urgently, as staff didn't know if the guest's life was at risk. Now, hotel staff were unable to enter Liam's room, according to the manager, who also said the musician had been staying at the hotel for two or three days before his passing. He was on vacation with his girlfriend of two years, Kate Cassidy, but she left to go back home, and that's when he checked into this hotel by himself. 
photos of his hotel room have been posted, where you can see that he trashed it by smashing up the TV, and there appear to be a lot of substances there too, so that's why people think he was acting strange. Liam had been pretty open with the world about his mental health issues and addiction problems due to growing up in the spotlight. It appears that all of this had something to do with his passing, which is sad as it could have been prevented. Now everyone on Twitter is talking about the incident, and people who were there when it happened have been speaking up. One person tweeted, Before the news, a hotel guest told a friend that Liam was taking substances and destroying the room. He also mentioned that he was accompanied by two women. Another tweet read, According to some versions, Liam tried to jump into the hotel pool, but fell into an internal courtyard for employees. Now it's clear that he was not in the right state of mind yesterday, and that's why he passed away. Now, this news shocked the world. Liam was a part of One Direction, and although the band was on a hiatus, fans always thought that they would reunite at least once. Fans have been posting about what happened online, mourning the member. A Liam Payne updating account posted, It feels so strange to say that I saw and met Liam in August, and now, less than two months later, he's gone. Life moves so fast, and the most unpredictable can happen so abruptly. Mourning him is going to be really hard, but I truly hope he's in a much better place and that he's been well welcomed into his new home. Another tweet that ended up going viral said, I feel like most of us are so shocked over Liam Payne's passing, cause that man was part of something our 13 year old selves could never imagine living without. Like why am I actually speechless right now? It's so weird. Fans have also created a memorial in photos, candles, and notes written for the star outside of the hotel he passed away at. Other celebrities have also spoken out about Liam. I am in shock right now, Charlie Puth wrote on Instagram. Liam was always so kind to me, he was one of the first major artists I got to work with. I cannot believe he's gone. Now last night, Rita Ora sang For You, her song with Liam, and she said, I can't even sing this right now, and she showed a picture of Liam of her in the background on stage. She then later tweeted a photo of her and Liam and captioned it, I'm devastated. He he had the kindest soul, I will never forget. I loved working with him so much, he was just such a joy to be around on and off stage. This tragic news breaks my heart. Sending all my love and prayers to his family and loved ones, our song For You takes on a whole new meaning for me now, R.I.P. Now, Liam gained recognition on the show The X Factor, where he was put into the boy band group One Direction. The TV show put out a statement about Liam that said, We are heartbroken by the sad passing of Liam Payne. He was immensely talented, and as part of One Direction, Liam will leave a lasting legacy on the music industry and fans around the world. Our thoughts are with his friends, family, and all who loved him. People who were close to the star have also given their condolences, with Anne Twist, the mother of Liam's former bandmate Harry Styles, posting a broken hearted emoji on Instagram, writing, just a boy. Former bandmate now Horn's brother posted a tribute to Liam as well. Then this morning, Liam's family put out a statement saying, We are heartbroken, Liam will forever live in our hearts, and we'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. We are all supporting each other the best we can as a family, and ask for privacy in space at this awful time. Liam's uncle Roger Harris also told Mail Online, We are all just deeply saddened and trying to come to terms with it. I just hope everybody gives them some privacy and really allows them to come to terms with it. That's all I can say. Liam is survived by his young son named Bear, which he had with Cheryl Cole. Now, none of his former bandmates have made a post about the star yet, but I'm sure they're all still shocked and processing everything, and no one should force them to say anything. But one of the most shocking parts of his passing was that just hours before, he was posting on his Snapchat. Now, Liam had become notorious for posting everything on his Snapchat, so he really got to see the final hours of his life, which is chilling. He was just enjoying his time in Argentina, but unfortunately, the trip would end horribly. Now, although fans are sad about his passing, in recent months, Liam has been called out for mistreating his ex fiance Maya Henry, and fans have come forward talking about how he took advantage of them. Just 48 hours before Liam's passing on October 14th, it emerged that Maya had started legal proceedings against him, accusing him of obsessively contacting her and weaponizing his fans against her. Ever since we broke up, he messages me, will blow up my phone, not only from his phone, 
It's always from different phone numbers too, so I never know where it's going to come from, she said. Now she then went into more detail about even more of the mistreatment she experienced, and it's just so horrible. In February, Maya announced her fictional book, Looking Forward, inspired by journal entries she wrote while dating Liam. Now, back in February, she alleged that Liam called her mom at the time and said, I'm not going to be around much longer. Maya then said, If you say this, I'm going to try to help you no matter what you've done. I think he took advantage of my family's kindness. Now, Maya also alleged that one of Liam's friends also called her, warning her not to release the book for the sake of his mental health. It appeared as though he was manipulating her again to get what he wanted. Now, with Maya exposing this, people online were calling him out and hating him. Some fans, though, think she took it too far and are now blaming her for Liam's passing. But let's make one thing clear, none of this is Maya's fault. She is a victim and was speaking up for herself. Liam was solely responsible for his actions, nobody else was. She's now receiving a ton of hate and I can't imagine what she's going through. But with this information out in the open now, that's why some people think him falling might not have been an accident. It appears that we'll just have to wait for the investigation to be done and hear what the final report is. Now, regardless of what he did, Liam's passing is sad as he was only 31 years old and had so much more life ahead of him. His family, friends, and fans are all in our prayers. Former One Direction member Liam Payne passed away in a tragic accident last week. The 911 call has been leaked and it's given us more information showing us that Liam's accident could have been prevented. Now this is everything we know. On Wednesday, October 16th, Liam was staying at a hotel by himself in Buenos Aires. Unfortunately, in the late afternoon, he fell from his third floor balcony, falling 45 feet, and passed away instantly. There's been a lot more to this story that people aren't talking about, so let's dive into it. Liam's girlfriend of two years, Kate Cassidy, left to go back to Florida two days prior, so Liam was by himself. Eyewitnesses say he was seen in the lobby of the hotel acting erratically. One guest, who's using the name Rebecca, said, I came into the hotel and he was waiting by the elevator, and it was so clear that he wanted someone to recognize him, there was something a bit desperate about it. Rebecca said that she and her friends recognized him, but weren't bothered by the star's presence. When the lift came, he said, Suddenly said to us without any prompting, yes, I'm Liam, really drawing it out, and then said, all right, come on you lot, get in the elevator with me, I love a cuddle, she claimed. Rebecca said that 10 minutes after her initial interaction with Liam, she returned to the lobby where she found the singer reading on his laptop. She then alleged that Liam saw something, maybe an email, which obviously upset him, causing him to freak out. Suddenly, he took the computer, shouted, F this shit mate and started bashing the computer on the ground. Rebecca claimed that his alleged outburst shocked everyone in the high-end hotel, especially the staff. Rebecca then claimed to have approached Liam and asked, are you okay? But he kind of just grunted and then he said, I used to be in a boy band, that's why I'm so effed up, she told the Daily Mail. Now, a man named Michael who was at the hotel said Liam was seen repeating to a woman, I'll give you $20,000 just because I can, I have $55 million and I like to help people. Now, the manager was trying to politely intervene to help calm him down. There was a feeling of anxiety in the area, they said. Now, Liam then left the area again and returned back to the lobby. It appears that when Liam went back up to his room, he was trashing it. Now, when he was in the lobby this final time, it was the worst he had been. He apparently collapsed, lost consciousness, and some people are saying that he was convulsing. The staff then took him back to his room while another staff member called 911. Now the phone call was leaked and this is what they said. We have a guest who's over the top. When he is conscious, he's breaking up the entire room. Please send someone. Send someone urgent because I don't know if the guest's life is at risk. He is in a room that has a balcony and we are afraid he might do something that could put his life at risk. Now, my question is if they knew he was out of control, was passing in and out of consciousness, and was worried that he had access to a balcony, why did they put him back in his room? 
alone. He was clearly having a medical episode and he should have been left in the lobby until help came. If the staff did that instead, things might have ended up really differently and Liam could have still been alive. And that just makes me so angry. Now, Buenos Aires police also said they found Liam's hotel room in complete disarray. They saw various items broken and recovered packs of energy supplements and other over-the-counter medications found among his belongings. Forensic teams also reported that authorities recovered a whiskey bottle, lighter, and a cell phone from the internal courtyard where Liam was found. A statement from Argentine authorities suggested that Liam was going through some kind of substance episode. Now, Liam had been open with his struggles with addiction, and it appears that that played a part in his death. But recently, a source has come out and said that Liam was sober, so they believe that Liam was given these substances and as a result had a psychotic episode. The police are now investigating two hotel employees who allegedly hid the substances in a box of Dove soap that could be seen in photos from inside of Liam's room. Now, this information was provided to the police by Roger, who is an Argentine businessman who was accompanying Liam at one point. Now, the public prosecutor said the lack of defensive injury injuries on Liam's hands indicated that he did not adopt a reflective posture to protect himself from the fall, meaning that he could have fallen into a state of semi or total unconsciousness. It's also been reported that he sustained 25 injuries sufficient enough to cause his passing, but it's said that it happened quickly so he didn't feel any pain. Toxological and pathological studies of Liam's blood and urine has been taken, and preliminary results have revealed that he did have substances in his system. Now, this definitely could have played a part in his passing. If he wasn't thinking clearly, and if he had passed out, falling out of the balcony could have been a complete accident that could have been prevented, but with the way a chain of events went, it wasn't. Now, Liam's body will not be released to his father, Jeff, until all examinations have been concluded, according to our Argentine judicial sources. Now, Liam's father is expected to stay in Buenos Aires until he can bring back his body, and the funeral is expected to take place in Britain in November. Hopefully, authorities are able to piece together everything that happened to give people closure and punish the people that had a role in his passing. Honestly, I think the hotel was extremely negligent in dealing with this, and again, it just makes me so angry and upset. Now, after the news of Liam's passing, the whole world, and honestly, still is shocked. Days before he passed away, he was out and about in Argentina meeting fans and taking photos with them. Fans spoke about Liam on Twitter, with one person tweeting, I know celebrities pass all the time, but it just hits so much harder because that's like the first major celeb of our generation who he grew up with. Another said, if the news is true, even though I was not a fan of him anymore, One Direction changed and shaped my life so much, and he was a part of that band. These feelings are so complicated and hard to navigate, I am literally at a loss for words. The day after the news was announced, Liam's family put out a statement saying, We are heartbroken. Liam will forever live in our hearts and will remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. We are supporting each other the best we can as a family and ask for privacy and space at this awful time. Now, Liam's uncle, Roger Harris, also told Mail Online, We are all just deeply saddened and trying to come to terms with it. I just hope everybody gives them some privacy and allows them to come to terms with it. That's all I can say. Say. Now, earlier this week, Liam's sister put out a statement revealing that she found out about his passing through social media. She said, When I saw the news pop up on my phone that you had left us, I went cold. I wanted so much for this to be untrue. She continued saying, I have spent days hoping that it was a mistake and somebody has got it wrong. You were truly too good for this earth. You are an angel who just lived for making people smile and happy. Now, that is honestly just so sad. Liam's former one Direction bandmates also made their own post paying tribute to the star. Earlier in the month, Niall had hung out with Liam as Liam went to one of his concerts. Niall posted a photo of the two and said, I feel so fortunate that I got to see him recently. I sadly didn't know that after saying goodbye and hugging him that evening, I would be saying goodbye forever. It's heartbreaking. 
Now this is just extremely sad. Now the One Direction official Instagram page even put out a statement about Liam and it was the first time they posted on it in four years. They said, we're completely devastated by the news of Liam's passing. In time and when everyone is able to, there will be more to say. But for now, we will take some time to grieve and process the loss of our brother, who we love dearly. The memories we shared with him will be treasured forever. For now, our thoughts are with his family, his friends, and the fans who loved him alongside us. We will miss him terribly. Terribly, we love you Liam, Louis Zay, Niall, and Harry. Liam's family, friends, and fans are all in our thoughts, and we hope that justice will be served in this incident.